Hi. It's Friday. It is Friday. And I am thrilled. Um, I didn't get to do an outfit of the day. But looky here. I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm wearing black leggings, tennis shoes, a cardigan, no makeup, dirty hair and a ponytail. This is how I'm rocking work today because it snowed this morning and the roads are clear now, but it just came out of nowhere, covered the roads. There was wrecks all over the place, wrecks all over the highway, people in ditches. People in Oklahoma don't know how to do this weather. Well, the temperature came up 10 degrees and now the roads are clear. Thank God. But this morning when I was coming into work, um, it was 25 miles an hour all the way. And my little Van Morrison, she was giving it one of these a couple times. But we made it in. So um, I just took a lunch break. It's 3 o'clock. So I took a late lunch break. I've been working, just doing the most all day. Um, had a lot of busy work to do, you know, a lot of catch up because I've been, I've been going on sales calls and recruiting and been out of the office and I had a lot of paperwork and junk I had to catch up on. So, um, got that, got that handled. I'm getting caught up. So anyway, um, I took a lunch break and I went to Aldi and I found some flaky biscuits and I bought two cartons of fresh eggs. I've already brought on the sausage and I bought some more cheese. Tonight, we are going to try the breakfast casserole recipe. <laughs> now I just gotta get a hold of Shane and tell him if he gets home before me, don't touch my brown sausage that I browned up last night. Don't touch it. See, that car is over there just crashed. Dang. So many wrecks this morning. So many wrecks. Um, anyway, I got to send him a text and say, listen, lover, you know, when we were cooking and arguing last night, don't eat my brown sausage because I need that. I need that sausage. And you know what he'll come back and say? He'll say, okay, lover, I won't eat your brown sausage because I'm going to have a steak. And that'll be the end of it. So, um, Anywho, I just thought I'd pop on here and tell you guys that, um, and I will see you back at the house to make a breakfast casserole and relax on a Friday. I'm so glad it's Friday. I just walked in the door and looked out in my backyard. We got snow today, but look at the pink sky. Look, isn't that pretty? over here. Look at that. Yes, I'll have that please. Thank you. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Oh, first signs of spring. So pretty. Love it, love it. Love it. Somebody ate the sausage today. This is day two of trying to make the breakfast casserole. It's not gonna happen. It just ain't happening. It's not gonna happen. The breakfast casserole does not want to be made. So, in lieu of that, Shane's low carbing, and I'm gonna sort of sort of low carb with him. So instead of sorry, I get some of my teeth. Instead of um, the two day felt breakfast casserole. If there wasn't a biscuit shortage, this never would have happened. And if, if if my eggs weren't two months expired, this wouldn't happen. What is a biscuit shortage? Nobody had biscuits. Nobody had any biscuits. I finally found some at Aldi today. It's a national biscuit shortage? Yes. All across the nation? Yep. Took $60 to fill my van up with gas today. It's 
it's horrible, but okay. <laughs> if gas was normally like two fifty a gallon or two forty eight a gallon, sixty dollars isn't bad to fill that van up. Mm -hmm. I pay one hundred and fourteen to fill that truck up. Yeah. I know, but... So in lieu of the breakfast um, casserole, arms getting tired. Um, Shane's gonna make us. Well, he was gonna make him an omelet. He said, I think I'm gonna make me a little two egger omelet. And I said, well, why don't you throw two more eggs in there and share it with your wife? And he said, I can do that. So, he's tired tonight, I'm tired tonight. I feel like I just wanna curl up with a movie. Yeah, good and like, just fall asleep on the couch. <laughs> On a night, you know, where you're just like, and then you wake up and go to bed. Anyway, I got to get some things cleaned up because um, we have a couple little mice that are living in our house. And so I call the exterminator and he comes at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I don't want, I need to clean out that pantry, the bottom of it. Um, but I'm not going to clean it out tonight. I'm going to get up and do it in the morning because I'm, I'm fresher and more motivated in the morning. I'm done today. I'm done. So... Um, I need to get up in the morning and clean all this. I'm not cleaning anything tonight. I don't want to. I'm going to clean all this in the morning. The exterminator is going to come and then me and Wyatt are going to pack up and go to Skytook and see Alex and Michelle's new house. And um, by the way, Wyatt's car is already in and out of the shop and he only needed the Mercedes for Eight hours. Of their house? Yeah. So, um, Mercedes is back in the driveway. Wyatt's car is out of the shop. I got my Pike Pass today, so that means I can get on the highway. Woo! Woo! The turnpike. I can get on the turnpike. Uh, uh, uh. I've been leaving the house like 45 minutes early when usually I can leave 20, 25 minutes before work. Now I have to leave 45 minutes before work. That's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Anyway, everybody's tired, so we're going to have an omelet and Riley leaves, tomorrow. Riley leaves for Scotland tomorrow. Yep, so she'll be gone for like 10 days. And um, Shane's got to work home in gardens. Did I already say that? Anyway. No, but it's fine pretty uneventful day and then Sunday I'm just gonna catch up on my laundry and hang out and clean my house so I'll be signing autographs if anybody wants to come out for home guard show uh, don't worry about my ceiling that we've yet to paint it's fine you're gonna be signing autographs yeah if anybody wants to come out for home guard show are you famous out there I'm pretty famous you're the home and gardens guy I'm kind of a big deal Told you he was a narcissist. I'm not a narcissist, but I'm playful. The playful narcissist. That's me. Maybe I am not a narcissist. Every now and then you are. Take a poll. Take I by the way, I read your comments and I see that everybody is siding with you, both on the car and the meat. No, not everybody. No, but most most. Like a a heavy percentage. Yeah. Does so, that bother you? No, it doesn't bother me at all. I'm like I'm like, okay, noted, duly noted. It's, you know, a lot of people don't like rare steak. That surprised me because I think it's, I thought that most of America liked their steak rare. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, let's see how our omelet's coming along. Do you know what you're doing, baby? Yeah. Do you need some help? No. If I ever need help making an omelet, I'm going to probably need to critique you on it, though. Oh, like, somebody's so cranky. Like it's mom. okay. I'm not, I'm not cranky. <laughs> okay, somebody's tired. We're tired, boo-boo. Thank you. You want to put on a movie and I'll rub your head? That's all right. Let me do that. He loves it when I do this. Let me flip you around. He can be in any kind of mood. Move. And this right here. This brings him right back down. This puts him back to center. Pretty good. 
unless he's real mad at me, then I don't try to touch him. That's a no. Hey, let's go light a fire. Let me show you how I light a fire at my house. Where's my lighter? Where's my lighter? That it's not Chinese, it's an omelet. It smells good. Well, we're not making the casserole again tonight because somebody ate the sausage. Probably Riley. She didn't know not to eat the sausage. This is how we light a fire at our house. I think I've probably lit one. <laughs> Me. How was your day? Me. We're lighting the fire because it's 30 degrees outside and it's cold. Voila. This is how we do it. Da, 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 da. What? What are your plans for the evening? Nothing. We're both pooped. Look at this. Oh, who's that Rose or Dr. Daddy? Where's my chunky beach? Use a chunky beach. Hey, baby. Oh, do you want some love too? Do you want some love too? My gosh. Love a baby too, love a baby too. Here's Rosso. So what are we doing for dinner? Well, Shane's making an omelet. Do you want an omelet? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm signing off. Love y'all. Lord loves you more. Maybe someday we'll have a breakfast casserole. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know anymore.